you know the clip that's driving me nuts? Taylor Swift saying, when I was on Saturday Night Live and I got to host, and I don't know, she was a kid. She was like 19 years old. Yeah. She goes, no one came to me and gave me any advice. That's a problem. Like, people think you're supposed to know what to do when you're hosting Saturday Night Live. In a way, it's a, a tremendous task. Insane. It is. That is insane. Here's what's even crazier. I worked at that show for 12 and a half years. And then I think about three years after I left, I went back and hosted for the first time. And if you asked me what it was like to host, I would tell you today. And I worked there longer than almost anybody. I was like, Howard, no one tells you anything. Like, even I, who had worked there, couldn't believe how it works. And I retroactively felt so guilty about how I had treated hosts for my time there. And a let me make clear, I was always very polite to hosts. I, I always wanted them to score. If they won, I feel like we won. But, you know, a host sometimes would say to me, I don't understand what I'm doing in this sketch. And in my head, what I wanted to say is, just fucking do it. Right. Like, just do it. We don't have time for nonsense. Yes, we wrote it, right. just do it. And then when I hosted, there were a few times where I realized what I was thinking was, I don't understand what I'm supposed to do in this sketch. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? And also, Taylor Swift, and it really speaks to what a force of nature she is and the depths of her talent. But here's a 19-year-old who, again, nobody is really... Helping out. Nobody gave her a manual of how to do that show. And yet, she came to us and said, I wrote a song for the opening monologue. Oh. And I remember saying, oh, God, that's great. And she said, can I play it for you? And so we brought Taylor into Lauren's office. And it was maybe me and Lauren and one other person. And Howard, she sings this song, which is not only, you know, a beautiful song uh, by a beautiful singer. It's a perfect SNL monologue, fully formed, and it was, I can't, to this day, I've sort of never had a moment like that where someone brings you a fully uh, gift-wrapped present, and it's exactly uh, what you needed it to be. So Yeah, can you imagine, I mean, having the balls to walk into Lorne Michaels' office in your office, yeah. and you guys are all comfortable, you know each other, and this and that, yeah. and standing there vulnerable with a guitar... The thing I should have done is when she finished, I should have said, now, Taylor, just for you, I want to look at you and read what we had written for you just so you know how much fucking worse it was. Like, not uh -huh. only is your song great, but you can't even begin to imagine how shitty what we were doing for you is compared to how great what you did for yourself is.